may bagay sa content ko ngayon yung what's up mga boy. Pero let's go with it. What's up mga boy? <laughs> My name is Tin and I'm a former cabin crew with Saudi Airlines and I'm now living in Japan as an English teacher. Today we are going to talk about careers that you can do as an ex-cabin crew. Let's go! Because of the pandemic, um, there were loads and loads of flight attendants who got laid off. Naisip ko gumawa ng video today about career after being a flight attendant. So, I think it's going to help lots of you on how to make a career choice or how to make a new path after being flight attendant for a long time. It won't be the same anymore, but um, having another career option is the best thing to do para maka-cope up tayo sa pandemic. First career choice na pwede mong gawin after flying ay ang pagdi-business. At yung business mo ay pwede mong gawing related sa flying. If you love flying that much, pwede mong i-connect yung flying sa bagong business mo. Like tea shops, right? Mayroon ako nakita na flight attendant na yung tea shop niya, um, ang mga pangalan ng mga tea flavors ay mga pangalan ng mga bansa. ba Mga pangalan ng air, mga airport code. Ganun! Everyday papasok ka sa work na mararamdaman mo na ano, yung first love mo nandun pa rin. ba Second, pwede ka maging vlogger. Vlogger. B with letter B. Pwede mong isulat lahat ng experiences mo bilang flight attendant. Pero marami magiging interested dun, ba? You can share your experiences, yung mga funny stories, yung mga unique stories na meron ka while flying. Sobrang magiging interested yung mga tao dun, especially yung mga aspiring flight attendants. They would um, read your blogs um, about your life as a flight attendant or as a cabin crew. One time, um, while I was still flying, I wrote a blog about like tips on how to be a flight attendant. It reached 10,000 views and I think marami siyang na-reach na mga tao. And if I, if I have just continued writing more, Siguro successful na yung website, yung ano ko na yun, yung, yung blog site ko na yun. Pero, hindi ko natuloy <laughs> hanggang nag-resign na ako. Alam mo yun, procrastination! Pero, if you are into writing, it's a very good thing for you to share your experiences through blogs. And let's go to number three. Pangatlo, you can be a vlogger. Kahit hindi ka na flying, pwede ka pa rin mag-vlog about flying. Kasi, um, your experiences are yours. Hindi pwedeng kunin ng ibang tao sa yun, ba? As long as you have something to share to people na alam mong magiging useful, why not, ba? Why not coconut coconut? <laughs> if you have talent in public speaking, you should try YouTube vlogs. May pera sa ano? May pera dito sa YouTube. Um, you should just um, have the passion. You just have to have um, dedication. Na kahit walang views pa at first, um, time will come na mararami yung views mo, di ba? <laughs> Pang apat. You can work in the hotel industry. So, syempre, bilang flight attendant, you are used to having people around you, right? You are used to entertaining people, entertaining guests. You're good at that. So, you should you should take care of that skill and move on to another industry like hotel industry, right? Last time I checked, um, there are quite few hotel chains hiring people for receptionist posts 
or like hotel attendants. I'm not sure about other um, other positions, but that's what I um, remember. Um, basta you can be you can be a hotel staff. They would appreciate your skills. Shempre, you've been everywhere, right? And yung care mo sa mga customers ay magagamit talaga nila sa uh, sa hotel business. Fifth career that you can pursue after flying is to become a salesperson. So, bilang mga flight attendant, Siyempre, hindi ka ma-hire sa pagiging flight attendant kung hindi ka makarisma, di ba? <laughs> Alam mo yan. <laughs> si flight attendant, dapat ano ka, malakas ang ano mo, malakas ang sex appeal mo ba? <laughs> Nakapal yung mukha ko. <laughs> when you become a salesperson after flying, beneficial yun para sa'yo. Advantage mo yun bilang salesperson. You can sell, um, you can sell condominiums, you can sell cars, you can sell insurances. Kakayanin mo yun. If you just have the determination at alam mo yun yung ano ka talaga, makarisma ka, yung kaya mong makipag-usap sa tao, na kaya mong i-present yung sarili mo. Ayun, that's one of the skills of being a flight attendant, right? You can present yourself gracefully. And lastly, you can also be an English teacher. So, I'm now in Japan teaching English to Japanese students. It's a good career choice after flying. Kasi, um, you can share your experiences to your students na they think na you're a very interesting person. But you've experienced lots of things and you've been to different places. And I think that's um, something that that will always be special about you and that will make students be interested in you. So English learners are very interested in stuff like traveling or things about other culture, about other countries. To get a job here in Japan, you must have first experience in teaching. Before I came to Japan, I applied sa 5-1 talk, yung nag magtuturo ka ng English online sa mga Chinese students. The pay was not very good though. Like, um, nasanay ka sa, nasanay ako sa napangataas na sweldo ng, ng flight attendant sa Saudi. Tapos, biglang parang ganun sa online. But, uh, it's a good experience, I think. Kasi dahil doon, napansin yung application ko dito sa Japan. Kailangan, you just have to start somewhere. Sa mga ex-cabin crew na na-layoff dahil sa pandemic or just by choice. Um, alam ko sa simula mahirap, mahirap mag-adjust dahil um, napaka-unique ng trabaho ng pagiging flight attendant. And you can't compare it to any other jobs in the world. But, we must learn how to adjust, right? Kaya maraming career options na nakapaligid lang sa atin. It just, ano, nakadepende sa atin kung paano natin i-handle yung buhay natin. And if you have any more ideas na career ideas na tingin mong makakatulong sa mga uh, mga nag-iisip-isip, nag nagmumuni-muni kung ano yung next move nila sa career after flying, just comment down below and also, if you have questions about uh, being a teacher here in Japan, just comment down your questions and I will try to make another vlog for that. And that's it, mga boy! <laughs> mga boy! <laughs> and that's it for today. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like nyo na din <laughs> and share nyo na din.